Oh, another turkey. Should we hunt it like a pheasant, like we were going to do with the pheasant anyway? It's just gonna let me stand here and reload. Is that the pheasant up there? Kinda looks like it. Ooh. Another morning in Pawnee Meadows, and you know what? I did spot out the whole area before I did that little intro there. <laughs> because I do know that there is a pheasant over here on this hill, which is so interesting. And these ducks are gonna fight for attention right now. But there is a male pheasant over there. And uh, unfortunately, the pheasant seemed to be pretty rare, which is, like I said, Unfortunate because uh, when I was looking at this game not having pheasant in the hunter call of the wild I was really looking forward to having an opportunity to uh, hunt pheasants and uh, it's unfortunate that they're not uh, in many places around Pawnee Meadows because I see uh, Fox and bighorn and elk all over the place But for some reason when it comes to pheasants, they're you know very few very few around and uh, you really have to search for them in fact I was actually filming another video when I saw this and I decided to stop filming that video and uh, equip a shotgun to hunt this guy that's that's how difficult it is to find a pheasant it's crazy so uh, we're just gonna get closer to this guy unfortunately we're only allowed the beagle during the uh, press release of this game oh there's two of them no way haven't found any in a long time and then all of a sudden there's two of them in front of us how about that so yeah we're just gonna walk up on these two and see you know obviously when you're given two of what you want you end up missing both of them so uh, we will see what we can do here <laughs> I may switch to first person view just to give me a better shot but what you should know is that this shotgun does not have very good range um, so if they do get beyond a certain distance, we're going to be out of luck. So it is going to take a little bit of skill here. I don't know if I should maybe crouch or it does seem like they're, they're pretty happy just sitting there. If anything, if they start moving, we'll, uh, sprint to get a little bit closer to them. They are facing, um, the east. So if they do take off, hopefully this one will go right over me and, uh, we'll get a good shot at this one first. I'm hoping, unless you, they decide to fly into those trees right there, and then I'll be out of luck. Now, I'm hoping that if I have my English setter, or whatever it is, English pointer, yeah. Beagle knows something's up. All right, pheasants, I'm ready for you. Anytime now, feel free. Bloop. One pheasant down. Where'd the other one go? I never even saw him take off. I saw butterflies off in the distance. Oh, he turned into a rabbit and ran off. Um, interesting. I never saw that pheasant take off, did you? I saw butterflies and I thought maybe I saw him, but it didn't look like him anyway. Wonder if he took off in a different direction towards the pond or something like that. Anywho, I'm still excited about this. Uh, this is my first pheasant I've shot in this game. They're really pretty rare, um, for some reason. But uh, you know, the last few years growing up, there's been a drought in Kansas, and they've been kind of hard to find in Kansas as well. So here we go, our first pheasant. What can we say about that? Good job, Bjorn. Two, you, uh, I guess you scared off the other one. I'm not sure where it went. Look at this guy. Very cool, very cool. And, uh, I think we'll go into the lodge so we can, uh, see him up close and all of his, uh, his plumage. Is that, is that the term we're gonna use to describe them? Their plumage? Um, pretty birds, pheasants. And, uh, they're, they're honestly, whenever people ask me what I wanted to be added, if I could choose one thing in the world to be added to the Hunter Call of the Wild, um, it'd be pheasants. I love hunting pheasants. Uh, I think they're a great 
uh, challenge. Not in this game, it seems, as we kind of wandered up on it and then shot it from like five feet away. But uh, if they do sit and then, you know, as you're like a few yards away from them, they pop up and they scare the crap out of you like they usually do to me when I'm hunting them, then um, yeah, I think they would be fantastic to have in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Stupid rabbit. Animal AI hashtag. What are you doing, Red Fox? So this was a bit of a shock. You know, after making the Upland bird hunting um, video, I thought to myself, that's kind of a boring video. It really didn't show much off. But in this uh, opportunity here, not only do I see uh, two pheasants around the same area, but there is a turkey up there as well. Just standing there. Just standing there. So I figured, you know what, we might as well go in here now that I have the most expensive shotgun in the game. Um, according to the pre-release beta anyway. I think I see the... F is that the turkey right there? It is the turkey. Okay. Just making sure I know where everything is. I actually don't know where the pheasant is, so... So that'll make things a little interesting. Okay, I need you to stay, go. bud. Because you like to ruin things up. Ruin things Stay. up. You like to ruin things. Let's, um... Doesn't seem to care that we're this close. That's a turkey. <sighs> I honestly don't know where this pheasant is. But I know that we're probably even with it right now. Okay, we're pretty darn close to this turkey now, so I might just go ahead and take it. We got the turkey. Okay, where's the pheasant? That's a giant butterfly. What is with these pheasants? They don't... This happened to us with the other one. Where does it go? It makes me wonder if sometimes they uh, they do kind of what the duck does when it tries to escape, and it goes into the water, and then comes out of the water a little bit later. It makes me wonder if the pheasant dips down to the ground and then comes out, because I don't remember seeing the pheasant flee. Let's see if we can find this other one over here. We got the turkey, so we don't have to worry about that. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that. Oh! Another turkey! Should we hunt it like a pheasant? Like we were going to do with the pheasant anyway? It's just gonna let me stand here and reload. Is that the pheasant up there? Kinda looks like it. Oh, it's way far out. Nope, not gonna be able to get it. Oh. Okay, well, we did get the turkey anyway. Unfortunately, it landed in some tall grass. I don't know where it landed. Well, you found more tracks. You are a one tracking dog. You just, um, you have some extreme difficulty finding birds. Oh, golly. We literally shot this turkey, and I tried to shoot a pheasant, and I lost the turkey in the meantime. Yep, this turkey's lost, I guess. Good God. I. It is so hard to find things, and the freaking dog can't find. Birds! Why can't you find birds, bud? Yeah, I know. There's tracks here. We're not looking for rabbits. We're looking for a bird. It's frustrating. I mean, they might as well have just taken shotguns out. If they weren't going to give us a bird dog for the pre-release beta, it's frustrating. It's abs absolutely... I mean, I'm just set up for failure, and I'm just getting frustrated that I'm shooting things, and I can't find them. Let's go see if we can find this other turkey. What's up, elk? Hope you're having a good day there, bud. Yep. Oh, something's up. I think something's coming towards me. 
Dummy dum dum. Okay, where is this other turkey? It's gotta be around here. Hey, we found this turkey. A mature male at that. That's a good turkey. Too bad we couldn't find the other one. It makes me wonder if it fell through the ground. Now that I, you know, now that I found out that that was a thing, I don't, I don't know what to believe when it comes to birds. You get back and it hides a lot of the vegetation, a lot of the grass and whatnot, so you can see things better. And I am just, I mean, unless it's on the other side of that hill there, I am not seeing that turkey that we shot. Oh, so I'm just gonna have to assume that it fell through the ground. But there's the pheasant. Maybe we'll go over there and try to get that pheasant. Okay, so this pheasant has got to be near these bushes anywhere is where we last saw it. So let's go see if we can find it there. Oh, there he is. A rooster! He's walking. He's a walking. Do you think he'll sit? Nope, he's flying. Gosh dang it. Well, I mean, it's good to see that the pheasants are flying off and we can't just walk up to all of them. Because that was my first experience dealing with them. Is that we saw that rooster and I literally just walked up to it. And then it finally, you know, flourished after that. Oh, it's flying again. Where are you going now, you crazy bird? Oh, it took a sharp left and then landed straight down. My, uh, so some of you know that, um, I know very little, but I do know some Norwegian. Um. Oh, with our last shell! Um, and basically it was all because I grew up with a, a great family friend of ours who was Norwegian, and uh, he had this philosophy for hunting pheasants. And it was that uh, if you miss the first shot of the pheasant, um, it it was basically you run after the pheasant. If it if it flies off towards that f that farmhouse over there, you know you chase off after it. Because he his idea was that the pheasant's gonna get tired of flying. It stays on the ground and walks around because it doesn't like flying. It's tiring for the pheasant. So he says, you know, I can keep I can keep up with it pretty well while it's flying and it's gonna have to land at some point so anytime the bird just took off flying and he missed off his sh his first shots he would just take off running after it he was a really cool guy so anyway that's my short Norwegian story but uh here we go um yeah bag this guy and there we go got another pheasant so it's not just one pheasant in the video but, uh, <laughs> and a turkey, a pheasant and a turkey. So there you go. A little upland bird hunting plus a turkey. How about that? All right, let's go back to the lodge here. All right, our pheasant, where is it going to be? I'm assuming it's going to be in here. Yes, it's right next to our turkey that we shot. That is awesome. The pheasant and the turkey right next to each other. Oh, my golly. Very cool, very cool. Our first pheasant, and they do look pretty neat. It is pretty cool to uh, see them up close and personal like that. Um, so yeah, there's the pheasant. Hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a pretty short video, but they're honestly not very common. So, you know, when I saw one, I thought, you know what, we really need to make a video about it. Um, I hope they increase the population of pheasants. It would be really fun to walk around Pawnee Meadows and hunt more pheasants. Um, and then, of course, when you have the uh, retriever dog or whatever it is, the uh, the German short hair or English pointer, whatever it is, I can't remember. Um, but once that's in the game, then they'll be able to kind of go up there and point on them and then, you know, maybe you can uh, command them to scare them up or something like that. That's going to be really cool. I enjoy that and I hope that someday we have that in the hunter call of the wild as well um but yeah thank you all for watching really appreciate it like and subscribe if you want to see more hunting simulator 2 videos or just outdoor games in general on the bz hub channel um that's gonna do it as always hunters keep gaming never stop